uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in the previous video we were able to get the token and we were dispatching this redux action login success and that is helping us to populate the data in the redux store okay this token and email and now we are writing the functional component so everything will be the hooks use state use effect use dispatch use history everything right so to do the routing once you logged in okay i will go to the restaurant page uh, after log out i will come to the login page all these things you can use with the you can do with the use history hook okay that you will get from the react router dom and then you can do history dot push okay so that will give you what you need and we can just import this use history from react router dom so we don't get any build errors okay so this is the step one but what if we are already logged in and we are actually reloading the page and then we because when you reload the page the redux state go away right because we are not persisting it uh, persisting the state right now so what will happen is every time whenever you are going to the public route that is fine you can go to the landing page any uh, any time but when you are going to the restaurant page that page you can actually go only when you have a when you are already logged in or you can also make that restaurant page public but let's do it right this way we will keep restaurant page as a private route okay once you logged in then only you will be going to the restaurant page and then we will make it public later okay so here we are navigating you to the restaurant page only if you are logged in we are done we are doing history dot push okay now when i reload this whole page then my redux state will go away and uh, then i need to write a logic of this public route private route consider you are on the restaurant page and reloading the whole page then if you don't have a token in the if you are not logged in your redux state is saying is logged in false okay let's then you have to go to the landing page first and then log in again and come back later we will introduce redux persist that will persist the state of redux with the local storage so whenever you reload no impact it will resynchronize the redux state whenever you reload the page okay so let's go to our router there we have to write a logic okay that this is the public route this is the private route and what is the the keyword using which we are knowing okay user is logged in okay so for that uh, these are the public route we can just use simple route but uh, for the restaurant we we can actually create a private route and private route can be a component and here we need to access the state using selector or using some other way load this and now is authenticated so how do we know that user is logged in or user is authenticated so here we will use use selector okay so again going back to the same discussion is uh, how you can use how you can get the state of the redux in your components so here we use use uh, dispatch similarly to get the current state like to get the state anytime you can use use selector so use selector will give you whatever the state you need in your application I will just take a look into one example and then we'll talk about it. So here let's say I'm doing use selector state and in my whole state tree, where do I hold this value? So go to your reducers. We are actually combining all the reducers together and then we are creating the whole state. So if we go to auth reducer in the auth reducer object, we have this logged in property, right? So this will be inside the whole state object dot authentication dot something like that. So we will validate it by looking into uh, our state tree, what state tree we are forming, but we will get it somehow like this. Let's say state dot maybe authentication dot logged in. Okay. So here we will get is logged in property. And we'll pass this is logged in property which is a boolean to this okay so what what actually this is doing it is passing the required authentication to this private component now this private component can decide do you want to 
allow rendering to this component or you have something else right first let's import a use selector and use this patch we can import it from react redux use selector and in the like same as use state use effect we can use use selector it will give us the current state and if you wanted to use a dispatch that is also simple like you you initialize dispatch here and maybe in the use effect you can dispatch a particular action you have so that we already know how like how to dispatch a particular action right we got the dispatch so now what you need to do is use this dispatch and pass your payload this will contain the type of the action and the data okay we'll use it whenever we need it for now we don't need it we got is logged in now we'll create a private root route component private route component is nothing but it will decide okay if is authenticated is coming as true okay that means this user this user is already logged in let's allow that user to enter into the component which we have done here private route and uh, we are importing this in the routes and in the routes we are able to get the login status using state.authentication.logged.in okay so it will give us is logged in same is logged in we are passing here and now what we want to do is if user is logged in then uh, even if user is going to the landing page user should not see the login button right so what we can do is we can actually use use selector and get this data into the login drawer this is my login drawer component i can use uh, the same thing here use selector and if it is a logged in then there should be a button in the bottom that we can hide this csx is way too long let's uh yes here we have button so if is logged in is false if is, is logged in is true then don't show this and this is being closed by the button here yeah, so we can wrap this up so we can have a, another condition is uh, we can have a logout right or we don't even show them for now same thing we can do for the sign up button first of all get this uh, use selector definition from react redux so if you go and this auth state change is getting called and it is redirecting you to the restaurant page but we can we can simplify this particular logic it should not be that much complex but here like how to get the particular state this is how you can get the logged in status from in any component okay now once user is logged in do this do that and whenever you, every time whenever you are doing a reload the whole page the redux state is getting clean right so in that case you can't navigate to the restaurant page because in current logic the this is the private route so you can actually directly publish to the landing page which is here it will just directly publish and in the landing page you will see the sign up and login and sign up button okay i am going a little slow here maybe i need to go faster and just try to wrap up this then we'll move to the api side from the next video